Hello, hello. Uh, welcome, welcome again to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we do see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems as well. So today, um, we are shifting a little bit from the topics of ceiling and floor functions, and today we want to look at uh, what we call exponents. Uh, so still at the MIT 2022 integration B regular season, and uh, the problem that uh, picked our interest today was problem number 10. And so we consider this as the first part of the exponent series. Uh, so problem 10 um, is very interesting as uh, the integral, uh, it's an indefinite integral of uh, four to the power um, X, times three to the power two to the power x. So very interesting problem. Now, before I jump onto the solution, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Uh, we are growing and we really thank you for your um, support. Uh, but for our first time visitors uh, here at Everyday Mathematics, what we do is we pick very interesting mathematical problems and we try to uh, offer some alternative solutions or solutions that could be in the mainstream. Uh, so we do encourage you to uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, and for those of you who are here for the second, third or fourth time, but haven't gotten uh, the confidence to or the motivation to subscribe to our channel, uh, we do really encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Your support, your support is much needed. Uh, thank you so much. So let's uh, now dive into the solution. Um, so um, four to the power x times three to the power two to the power x can be also expressed as, so four can be expressed as two to the power two. And so four to the power x can be expressed as two to the power two, plus bracket the power x, uh, three to the power two to the power x uh, is what we would apply to it. Now um, we can rearrange the powers here, uh, bringing in x into the bracket and two outside. So now we see things that are common and with calculus or integration, when you see common things, it's usually common practice to substitute them uh, with a much simpler uh, variable. So uh, we would like to say, let u be equal to, to the power x such that uh, natural logarithm of u is equal to natural logarithm of two to the power x and then using the rules, of uh, logarithm, we can pull back the power as a constant uh, here, so that now we have natural logarithm of u be equal to x times natural logarithm of two. Now we can now differentiate this easily by now saying one over u du dx is equal to the constant, the natural logarithm of two. So that what that means is one over u log two du, it can be substituted in place of dx. So now bringing this uh, integral, um, we, we now find that the integral of four to the power x times three to the power to the power x equals to, in place of two to the power x, we put u, so we have now u squared times uh, three to the power u. Now in place of dx, we can now bring this uh, one over u log two du. And so we can pull this constant out and this uh, u in the denominator can reduce the square uh, there to a u. And so we have now the integral reducing to one over log two times the integral of u uh, three to the power u. Now uh, we can express three to the power u as an e to the power constant times u and how we could do this is if y is equal to three to the power u, then we could say that the natural logarithm of y is equal to natural logarithm of three to the power u. And so using the rules of logarithm, we can pull this power into the constant position there. And so natural logarithm of y is equal to u log three. Uh, and therefore, if we now uh, uh, power everything, um, e the power u, I mean the power log the power y, uh, log, log y, and then being equal to uh, e to the power u log three. Uh, that means that 
uh, y is the same as e to the power in bracket log three u. So we can plug this uh, realization into our uh, integral. So uh, the original integral now is equals to one over log two uh, u times through the power u, and in place of through the power u, we can now put e to the power log three times u. And so now our integral becomes one over log two, uh, integral of u times e to the power u log three. And so we can use our integration by parts where we say, uh, let uh, u, capital U, be equal to the small u, and dv be equal to e to the power u log three, such that v is equals to one over log three, e to the power u log three, and then um, we can also now use this formula where uh, the integral of u dv is equals to uv minus integral of v du. This is the popular formula for integration by parts. Also, we have to remember that du is equal to one. So uh, what that means is that a one over log two integral of u uh, times e to the power u log three is the same as one over log two in bracket uh, u is uh, going to be small u and uh, v is e to the power u log three over log three minus now uh, du is one and then uh, v remains as e to the power u log three over log three and so we can now integrate this uh, second term here into now what gives us the um, this formalism where we have one over log two in brackets u over log three e to the power u log three and now this integral results into the square of one over log three times e to the power u log three and then obviously the final integration constant a few things that we have to simplify um, is that uh, we know e to the power u log three is the same as three to the power u so we can just substitute back through to the power u. And since we also know that u is equals to two to the power x, uh, where we find u in the equation, we can say now our final integral is one over log two, uh, two to the power x in place of this u over log three times three to the power two to the power x in place of this u minus the square of one over log three times three to the power to the power x in place of this u. Now we can just pull this three to the power two to the power x out uh, to simplify the expression to three to the power two to the power x over log two in bracket two to the power x over log three minus the square of one over log three uh, plus the integration constant. And this is the final answer. It looks a little bit intricate but um, that's the beauty of calculus. Um, using simple steps, we can really obtain these very intricate uh, solutions. And thank you very much for hanging out with us. And uh, it's been a real pleasure um, you know, solving this uh, problem. Um, until next time, uh, we can say at Twitter, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.